Hello friends, in this video we will discuss difference between zoospore, antherozoid and androspore of Oodogonium. So we will differentiate these three on the basis of these six parameters. First is formation. Zoospore is formed in all species. All species here means in Nenandrus as well as Macrandrus species. In both species, zoospore is formed and we know that zoospore is formed during asexual reproduction. Antherozoid, it is also formed in all species. In case of Macrandrus species, it is formed inside normal filament and antherozoid is formed inside anthridium. In case of Nenandrus species, It is formed on dwarf male because dwarf male forms anthridium and inside anthridium two antherozoids are formed. Each anth in inside each anthridium two anthrozoids are formed. <laughs> Androspore. It is formed only in Nenandrus species and it is formed inside androsporangium. Structure, second is structure. Zoospore is a round, uh, sorry, spherical or pear shaped uninucleate structure which have crown of flagella at its anterior end. So structure of anthrozoid is similar to juice pore. And structure of androspore is also almost similar to zoospore. When comes to size, this zoospore is largest one, and this anthrozoid is smallest. Androspore is intermediate. Its size lies between zoospore and antherozoid. It is larger than antherozoid but smaller than zoospore. <laughs> Number of zoospore inside zoosporangium is 1. Each zoosporangium form 1 zoospore. Whereas antherozoid, in case of antherozoid, each anthridium forms two antherozoids. Each androsporangium forms one androspore. So, when we talk about number, each zoosporangium will form one zoospore. Each anthridium will produce two anthrozoids. So, anthrozoids are produced, uh, the number of anthrozoids is two inside each anthridium. Here, androsporangium produce only one androspore. <laughs> when we talk about origin, they are originated or they are formed inside zoosporangium. Any vegetative cell will act, any uh, 
intercalary cell, vegetative intercalary cell will act as juice spore enzyme and it will form juice spore. Antherozoids. Antherozoids are formed inside anthridium and this anthridium is formed on normal filament in case of macrandra species but in case of nenandra species these anthrozoids are formed on dwarf male because dwarf male forms anthridium and inside anthridium anthrozoids are formed so anthrozoids are produced by normal filament in case of macrandra species but they are produced by dwarf male or nenandrium in case of nenandra species <laughs> endrospore these are produced inside endrosporangium of nenandra species only so endrospore are produced only by nenandra species and they are produced inside endrosporangium function this juice spore directly will germinate and forms new filament this anthrozoid this anthrozoid will fuse with egg and forms zygote this endrospore will attach to ugonia or supporting cell supporting cell that is also called suffultry cell and here it will germinate and by germinating it will produce dwarf male or nenandrium so this is the difference between juice spore anthrozoid and endrospore so juice spore are formed in all species in macrandrus as well as as well as nenandrus species anthrozoid also produce in all species in both species <coughs> endrospore this endrospore is only produce in nenandrus species <laughs> when we talk about structure it is spherical or pear shaped uninucleate structure which have crown of flagella at its at its interior end and the structure of anthrozoid and endrospore is similar to juice spore size juice spore is largest one anthrozoid is smallest one but but endrospore lies in between these two it is larger than anthrozoid and smaller than juice spore when we talk about number only one juice spore is produced by each juice spore angium when we talk about anthrozoids two anthrozoids are produced inside one anthridium and endrospore a single endrospore is produced inside each endrospore angium origin they are formed inside origin or you can say formation they are formed inside juice spore angium anthrozoid are formed inside anthridium when we talk about macrandra species they are formed on normal filament but when we talk about nenandra species anthrozoid are formed inside dwarf male <laughs> <coughs> this endrospore is formed only in nenandra species it is formed only in nenandra species it is formed in both species it is formed in only in nenandra species the function juice spore will directly germinate and will form new filament this anthrozoid will fuse with egg and form zygote and this endrospore will germinate will first it will attach on ugonia or supporting cell or suffultry cell then here it will germinate and it will form dwarf male or nenandrium so this is difference between juice spore anthrozoid and endrospore of udogonia